What's up, Supermoto Bros? Welcome back to another episode of the Supermoto Bike Build. And today, we're gonna to be talking about SPS and their new fork feet that they sent me. As always, big thanks to each one of these partners in this bike build. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. And big thanks to SPS Factory for sponsoring today's episode. And this is it guys. These are the SPS factory fork feet and the black is going to look insane on the bike. I can't wait, but they have a great utilization as well. Um, these are a 20 millimeter offset compared to the stock Honda 32 millimeter offset on the fork feet. I am unsure on what the offset is on other brands, but I was told that the Hondas have a 32 millimeter offset. So that's what I'm going with. So let's go ahead and install these new SPS factory fork feet guys. Uh, first step to that is we're gonna need to remove our forks from our bike. And to do that, we need to remove that front wheel, loosen up the triple clamps, and then we can pull the forks right on out. On the left one, we do have to remove this beautiful Behringer front brake system um, to be able to get it off the bike. So another big thing with the SPS factory fork feet, they're actually a radial brake mount. So you can see right here that the Behringer front brake system actually mounts up the fork feet with a axial mount. And so that's one of the big features of the SPS factory fork feet is the, uh, having that radio mount. So I'm gonna give you guys one last look at the suspension with the stock OEM fork feet on there before we install that SPS factory fork feet. Um, that's what they're, you know, that's, I want to be able to show you guys what the before and after kind of looks like. And so I'm going to get these nice and cleaned up because I am going to be taking these to my suspension guy, suspension by buck. Um, that way I can get some help because he has the correct tools on how to do this. And I did film a lot of that. So you guys will be able to see, um, the process and how to do it yourselves. So as you can see right here, the SPS factory fork feet have that radio mount for your front brake system. And the OEM one has the axial mount. Now that we're all locked and loaded in the vehicle, let's go ahead and head to our suspension guy, Suspension by Buck. So here we are at SBB Suspension by Buck. If you don't know who he is, I definitely recommend checking him out as he's one of the best suspension guys that I know and that I always use for my flat track stuff, my motocross stuff, my supermoto stuff. He does it all for me, so definitely check him out. Um, he pretty much helped me with this whole entire process of getting the fork feet off. Um, he even put brand new oil in my forks for me, which was awesome. Um, but I was able to record most of the process and if you guys wanted to try this at home yourself, you know, you definitely can. Um, but I just wanted to go to my suspension guy to uh, have it done correctly and make sure nothing messed up. Based on what I got from watching Buck do this, he pretty much was able, he removed the entire cartridge, removed everything from the forks themselves, drained them from the oil, everything you pretty much do to make them bare as possible. And then uh, put the fork foot itself into a vice grip and heated it up with a blowtorch. And then he has this special tool right here, which kind of clamps into those holes in the cartridge. And by doing that, it allows him to twist off the fork from the fork foot fork feet themselves. So once we remove that fork cartridge, he goes in heads and removes the um, rubber O-ring from the OEM factory feet and puts it into the new SPS factory fork feet. Once you get that rubber O-ring in there, it looks like he installs the uh, the bottom piece of the cartridge where the nut goes in. He installs that into the fork foot and then tightens it up so that way that's now in there. And then when he can go ahead and put it on top of the fork cartridge itself and just screw it on. And then he'll go ahead and put it right back in the vice grip so that way he can make sure it's nice and tight on there.
like I said, he has the special tool to tighten and loosen these fork feet themselves, and that's the tool right there. Um, I didn't have that, so I figured I'd get it done correctly and, and go to him. But then he just re reinstalls the cartridges into the forks and everything like that and puts them back together. So big shout out to SBB Suspension by Buck again for helping me get these SPS factory four feet on there and they look absolutely insane. And I'm excited to get these on the bike, not only for their looks, but also to test them out and see how they feel. So now we'll go ahead and reinstall our forks onto our bike and tighten up those triple clamps so that way the forks don't slide out. Remember the bottom one triple clamp, you don't wanna tighten super tight. You wanna have them snug, but not super tight. So that way it allows your suspension to work. And you can see right here, I don't get them. I, you know, I just get nice and little snug. And then I go ahead to the top ones and tighten these ones up so that way they don't slide out. absolutely unreal the sps factory fork feet especially the black makes it look absolutely insane and i love it but we're not done yet we need to remove our front brake disc that way we can install the disc spacer for the uh, radial mount front brake system and this is the front brake disc spacer so now that we got our front di uh, disc off we're going to go ahead and put the spacer on there and then we can go ahead and reinstall our front disc this spacer did come from SPS themselves, so you can get everything from them, no problems. Now that we got our SPS spacer installed, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our SPS axle right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock spacer from the wheel itself and we're gonna go ahead and install the new spacer as you can see it's a little bit different um, and so that's just gonna be because we have the wider triple clamps with the wider axle so thanks to SPS for getting us that wider axle with these fork feet One of the things that I really love about the SPS axle is it actually already has rubber slider ends on the end of it. So you don't even have to worry about putting on any sliders or anything like that because it already has rubber sliders on there. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our fork feet bolts so that way it holds our axle in place. And then once we tighten that up, we'll be able to tighten our axle up and the front end will be done. We'll have officially installed our new SPS factory fork feet with the SPS front disc spacer and the SPS wider axle. So thanks again, SPS factory for sponsoring today's episode and getting me all these beautiful parts. I highly recommend checking them out. If you want to build your own supermoto bike and get these parts for yourself, check out SPS factory. And that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes, and make sure you give this video a like, comment down below what your thoughts on the SPS factory parts are, and share this with a friend. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.